Corey Haim, a Canadian child star of the 1980s, is dead. He was found at his mother's Los Angeles home after an apparent drug overdose, and one of his last roles was shot here in Vancouver, a reality show about the addicted actor trying to get clean. Mi Young Lee joins us live with more now. Mi Young? Well, Gloria, it's an all-too-familiar story. A child actor hits Hollywood and instant fame, and as an adult, his career spirals. He gets in trouble with the law and becomes addicted to drugs, and it unfortunately wasn't any different for lost boy Corey Haim. So he's going. Toronto's Corey Haim first hit the big screen at age 10. By 16, he had eight movies under his belt and officially hit teen heartthrob status. The 80s belonged to Haim. I'm a lonely boy. It was his performance in the 1987 cult hit The Lost Boys that catapulted him to stardom, playing alongside Jason Patrick and Kiefer Sutherland. And from there, Hollywood opened its doors to him. Well, why did it appeal to you? Why did you want to do that? What did you think getting into acting was going to be? I don't know. Hollywood, fun. <laughs> It's that kind of stuff. But all that fun quickly took over his life and his career. Haim, a self-proclaimed addict, says cocaine, crack, and prescription pills were his best friends. Soon after, new roles became far and few between. Haim had to file for bankruptcy in 1997. Uh, did you go rehab? Are you being sober now? Are you uh, big get No, no, no. Wow, man. That was Haim in 2004. Shortly after, he reunited with childhood best friend Corey Feldman in a reality series shot here in Vancouver called The Two Corys. He can't stay here. Show producer Kirk Shaw says Haim is trying to turn his life around, but he couldn't take any chances. We had a security guard within 24 hours of the day to go protect himself from himself. He says Haynes couldn't handle the pressure of a series and decided to end the show after season two. But he did manage to book several roles in Canadian films, including Shark City. I, I like your gun, though. Please get out of my face. And all he ever cared about was wanting to entertain people, and his work was his life. A life that ended here in his Burbank home in Los Angeles. And despite all the scandals, most people will remember Corey Haim like this. Oh. And Gloria, we wouldn't really call it a comeback, but Corey Haim was going to be busy this year. He had booked three other Canadian films to play roles in, all in 2010. All right, thanks very much to me, Young Lee. He kept trying to quit, but the addictions won out. Canadian-born Corey Haim, the actor, died in California today of a drug overdose. CTV's Tom Walters now on the former teen star who had trouble growing up. Romeo was 14. Toronto-born Corey Haim was 14 when the title role in the film Lucas established him as a bright new talent. It's called The Process of Natural Selection. You ever heard of Darwin? But in a place that has its own form of survival of the fittest, Corey Haim did not make it past 38. At his Burbank apartment today, police are investigating what they believe is an accidental overdose of prescription drugs. While neighbors remember a troubled man. Well, I've had a few run-ins with Corey Haim here. Um, most of the people did when he was going through his, uh, his little stages and stuff. He went through stages, all right. Notice anything unusual about Santa Carla yet? No, it's a pretty cool place. If you're a Martian or a vampire. With the success of movies like Lost Boys, Haim quickly became a teen star in the late 80s, but faded just as quickly. His trips to rehab outnumbered good performances. In a 2001 E Network documentary, he was incoherent. One was for, um, and it was Below's hero. Addicted to crack, Valium, and prescription drugs, he had gone from heartthrob to punchline. Part of what passed for a comeback was putting the train wreck of his life on display in a reality show with fellow lost boy, Corey Feldman. Hey, what the doing? Your life is like, you know, the ultimate Hollywood cliche. How do you dig yourself out of that wreckage? and be where you are now. Uh, I do it every day. In an interview with MTV Canada just over a year ago, Haim was frank about his addiction and his greatest regret. The pain I put on the family for all the years of them expecting that phone call or maybe getting a phone call of your son or your brother is dead. That phone call came this morning. The all but inevitable ending to a certain kind of Hollywood script. Tom Walters, CTV News, Los Angeles.